this is my YouTube channel and today we're going to be talking about who was Selena not Gomez but Quintanilla Selena Quintanilla was a singer songwriter spokesperson businesswoman model and fashion designer she was also known as Queen of Tejano music Selena was born on April 16, 1971 in Lake Jackson, Texas. She was the youngest child of Abraham Quintanilla and Marcela Zamora. Her older siblings were Suzette Quintanilla and A.B. Quintanilla. When she was six years old, her father noticed her talent while he was teaching A.B. how to play the guitar. And at the age of 10, she was the lead singer of the family band Selena y los Dinos. In 1982, Abraham Quintanilla opened a restaurant called Papa Gallo's and Selena y Los Dinos would play during the weekends. After one year of the restaurant being opened, it closed down due to recession. This caused the family to move to Corpus Christi, Texas. During the early 80s, Selena albums did not sell well, but the band continued to tour the band learned how to play different styles of music. In larger cities, they played rhythm and blues, and in smaller Texas towns, they played traditional Tejano music. In 1988, Selena was popular enough to be voted as a female artist of the year at the Tejano Music Awards, which she won. And the winner is... Selena Quintanilla. You're spoiling me, but I like it. <laughs> um, you know, I just got a, a note just a minute ago. I forgot to mention Fort Hood, Texas, and also Dallas, Texas, okay? <laughs> and I'm celebrating tonight. Whataburgers for everybody. <laughs> thank you to Manny again, once again, on behalf of Selena Zenos. I love you guys. Like, I don't know how to thank you, but just saying, I'm, I'm terrible with words, but coming from my heart, I love you and thank you so much, okay? Thank you. In 1991, her song with Alvarez Torres, Buenos Amigos, became number one on Billboard's Latin chart. While her music career was going very well, so was her personal life. On April 2nd, 1992, she married Christopher Perez. He was also the lead guitarist in her band. Her songs were not only being heard through Mexico, but as well as in the US and in South and Central America. In December 1993, Selena joined a mostly English record company called EMI, which is a major record company. In July 1994, Selena released Amor Prohibido. The album sold 2 million copies, it was the top-selling Latin album of the year. In February 1994, more than 60,000 people attended to her live performance in Houston. And in March 1994, her album Selena Live won a Grammy Award for the Best Mexican American Album. Selena had many success throughout her career, but sadly, it ended shortly. On March 31st, 1995, Selena passed away at the age of 23. She was shot and killed by the president of her fan club, Yolanda Saldivar. After her death, she became even more famous. Throughout the Latin community and in America, everyone mourned to her death. Four months after her passing, the album Dreaming of You was released. The album contained five English songs and contained numbers of traditional Tahino songs. The album was a big hit and sold 3 million copies. In 1997, the movie Selena, starring Jennifer Lopez, was released. The movie contained events from her childhood through her rise of stardom and her sad tragedy. Last year, Netflix released a Selena series, which is in more in-depth compared to the movie on her childhood and rise to fame. She would always be remembered as an amazing and talented woman. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want me to do some like a mini series 
about like celebrities like Selena, just comment below if you want me to continue and make it a series. And who would you want next? Peace.